Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Sha'Allah, Kohulimla, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Kahakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akium, Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And. This gentleman that you see right here on the screen is Cole Emhoff, if I'm pronouncing the name right, right? Now, who is this guy? Who is this guy here, right? So, I was listening to the elder earlier today, um, Elder Malcolm out of Chicago, GMS Chicago, and he mentioned something that I found to be interesting because, and then I, I never thought about, I, you know, I just never thought about it. Why doesn't Kamala Harris use her husband's last name? Because overall, this is her husband right here, right? This is the guy, Doug Emhoff. This is her husband. This is her husband, right? So now, she's out here running on this ticket that she's a black woman now. If she was so black, why is she with this so-called white man? This Jewish so-called white man? Jewish. Why do why you know you you we've seen them together. But why does why does why don't you see her with him like how you might see um Joe Biden and Jill or how you might see Obama and Michelle? You don't see this guy too much, and you don't see those children neither, cause she doesn't ha she doesn't have biological children. Now just imagine her, Kamala Harris. Here you go right here, right, and every time you look up, she's posing with her husband. Now check out these kids though, right? Because he has two kids that she's the stepmother of. But she's not a biological mother herself. But she's running her campaign on you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American women um, um, aborting your kids. She don't have no kids of her own. But let's go back because, you know, you know, let, let, you know, I had to I had to, you know, run off into this guy. So why isn't she calling herself Kamala Emhoff? Because first off, she know that name is it, it will throw her whole campaign for a loop. She's not going to pop up with this family of him and his two kids that she's the stepmother of. Because she know that that doesn't fit the narrative of her trying to push um, um, her blackness on you on you silly ass so-called black women that just won't research nothing. She knows if she pops up and, and, and gets it. Let, let's go into it. Let me let's lock you. Because I because I, I just put in I just typed in why doesn't Kamala Harris use her husband's last name? Now, it's a number a number of reasons why um, a lot of these women do this. Now, I went off into um, one article. I think this may be the one right here. Uh, AOL.com, VP elect Kamala Harris kept her last name. Here's why it matters. But, um, you know, I went into that earlier and I was reading. They went off into um, Hillary Clinton. Because remember, she used to call herself Hillary Rodham. Which is her her um you know maiden name, though she was married to um Bill Clinton. But guess what she said? She said that she noticed that she said it was a huge mistake because um Bill Clinton ended up losing um not the presidential camp. It was something before he became president, but he ended up losing a runoff with somebody because of her not having his last name whatever you know because some of these cities you know with so-called white people they, they they really believe that if you get married to a man you should have his last name and they found that to be kind of offensive so he kind of lost the runoffs or whatever whatever you know what i'm saying now it also went off into men being um pretty much men being weak or men being um effeminate not being masculine you know or a woman seeing the man as being weak you know, so it went off into a few different things. I'm not sure if this was the exact one I went into. I think it is, though. Because I've done it from another phone. It was earlier. Let's get this. Let's get this part right here. It says the Harris Emhoff relationship is emblematic of the 21st century. The inner faith. She was raised practicing Christianity and Hinduism which is off as hell, while Doug set to become the first Jewish spouse in the White House. Interracial, Kamala is Indian and Jamaican, while Doug is white and Jewish, which are, you know, them just social constructs, man. A uh, couple wed in 2014, making Kamala uh, 
Mamala to Doug's two children. She made history as the first ever woman VP. The first ever black VP. So here you go. You got Indian, Jamaican, black, all this different shit. But Jake see um, skin color and, and, you know, they see somebody with some melanin and they lose their damn mind. They think that everybody with, with melanin is the same people. And that's just not true, man. An Ethiopian is not going to identify with you Negroes. And, and they're just as dark as us. It says in the first ever VP South Asian descent, there's another damn um, social construct. So they basically call this lady four different things in here pretty much overall. He's making history as the first ever second gentleman. So what's so important about her last name? Actually, quite a bit. While you think women keeping their last name will be noting will be nothing new or taboo anymore. It's relatively new to the White House. Former floatist Hillary Clinton, the name she used in her official presidential campaign changed her changed her name several times she initially used her maiden name hillary rodham even through the first decade of her marriage which she told npr might be part of the reason her husband bill clinton lost his arkansas gubernatorial <laughs> she says i learned the hard way that some voters in arkansas were seriously offended by the fact that i kept my maiden name see she then became um, just Hillary Clinton and for various political, personal and social reasons, she went back and forth between that and Hillary Rodden Clinton before settling on Hillary Clinton. But it's hard to say if her maiden name will, will come back. 2015, a New York Times study found that about 30 percent of married women keep their maiden names or add their husband's name to their own. A big uptick since the 1980s and, and the 1970s when state laws often require women to have their husband's name in order to vote, bank, or get a passport. So, see, you can see how far um, America has come as far as, um, you know, feminism. <laughs> feminism and women's rights, man. Okay, it says, um, according to a 2017 survey of UK and US adults, and we all know these are Edomites, when a woman chooses not to take her husband's surname, after marriage, many perceive her husband as being higher in traits re related to femininity, see, effeminate, right, and lower in traits related to masculinity. In addition, he's also perceived as having less power in their relationship and in a 2017 study found that a whopping half of respondents think women keeping their maiden name should be illegal. See, the reason they think women should take their husband's name, it pri prioritizes their marriage and their family ahead of themselves. Interesting. See. And this could be a woman that wrote this. This brings us back to the present day, though Kamala hasn't spoken publicly about her decision to keep her family surname, surname post-marriage. Her decision proves just how much has changed in the, in the past few decades. And most importantly, her name shows that women can do whatever the hell they please. See that? And still become VP finally. Okay, so you see what it is. And let me just get this too. I'm sure a lot of you, um, you may know this scripture, but she's not supposed to usurp authority over the man. She's running around the planet and shit. She's the goddamn president right now and people not realizing it. She didn't pretty, she didn't tuck over Joe Biden's, um, uh, uh, position, man. Let's get, um. First Timothy 2 and 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to, to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. And she's always somewhere giggling, man. You know, usurping authority over the man. Right. And I'm sure he's probably in the backdrop running everything. Her husband, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he's probably making all the moves. And, 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 and overall, Kamala is more than likely going to be she. That's just me speaking as a man. She's more than likely going to become a president. And this, this country is going to go into complete shithole because they're going to civil war it out. And you got you have to realize that her husband is one of those small hats, those Jewish people. You see this commercial, they got this commercial now with her talking about, well, she's changed her mind on a lot of things. You know, she's changed her mind on this. She changed her mind on that. But she hasn't changed her mind on Israel. You know what I'm saying? Because that's her that's her husband's, um, you know, hookup, man. So now let's go back, though. And I don't want to keep this lesson long. I just thought about that when the um, when the elder mentioned it. So let's go back because look at these kids. 
Look, let, let's go off into him. Let's 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 see his children. The, she's the stepmother of these children, and I want you to you know to realize that if she was just on stage with them, now she might pop, if she win presidency, oh yeah, she'll pop up with them. They're gonna be all there, happy, smiling, and hugs. A lot of so-called black people don't even know the, um, her husband. They don't even know who she's married to. They don't look into things. Jake don't don't um. They don't study. They don't research. They don't look into things. Like this right here is the sun, right? So let's let's play a little bit of this short right here. Uh, hold on. You see, here's the daughter right here looking weird as hell. And you know what? She's an actual model. As soon as Kamala became president, somebody said that this somebody thought that she um she 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 was she was worthy enough to model. <laughs> She's out here modeling, man. She 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 used um Kamala shit to get out here and get the model and look at her. She out here looking like um what's that guy? Uh they used to do all the parody um songs. Um Damn, what's that guy's name? He had this, uh, uh, he done the song, um, you know, the, the song after Michael Jackson's Beat It. He, he called it um, Eat It. Will, weird, damn, what's his name? Weird Al Yankovic or some shit like that. That's who she looked like. Look, she looked just like that guy. Weird Al Yankovic. But she's supposedly be a model. Now, this is, this is one of, um, imagine her showing up. And they got this 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 family arm hugging on 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 the stage of one of her debates with her. Let's go back. See, cause they somebody done, somebody thought that she could model. Look at this. Are you fucking kidding me? You're looking like a goddamn tranny, man. Somebody thought she could model, but I mean, hey, they they that's what happened when um Kamala became um vice president. This motherfucker went straight into modeling. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how, but anyway, so let's go that this is one of her stepchildren, right? And we just seen the little dude Cole. Let's go back to him real quick. Let's see. Little Cole here. Oh, this is some shit from Instagram, so I don't want to go too hard on that. But that's the sun right there. So just imagine... Just imagine your girl Kamala popping up on stage with, 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 with these people, man. Oh, here we go right here. Let me see. This is a good one. I ain't even peeped that. Oh, so they did. They, they, now, here you go. This is perfect. Imagine, and I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to definitely use this for the, uh, the, the thumbnail. But imagine Kamala, so-called black woman. She, she's so, she's so black now. Before she, you you seen what um um Donald Trump said? Oh, before she was calling herself Indian, and then she started calling herself black, <laughs> and and that's what they supposedly had been on Janet Jackson head about, and a few people. It's a it, people, it, people people done caught on. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said again, if she pops up like this right here, where you so-called black women gonna stand? Well, still you already know the so-called black women. They gonna still vouch for her ass but still she's a black woman okay well why does she why does she why does she um represent you as a uh, as a black family oh because most of y'all don't have no dad in the home anyway you know she done became a a a a, a, a baby step a, a baby step mama right but this is a perfect picture right here She's the stepmother to two children, Ella and Cole, with her husband, Doug Emhoff. So why isn't she calling herself Kamala Emhoff? Emhoff. If I'm pronouncing the guy's name right, right? See? So so what's the, what's the deal here? Where, where are you so-called black people at when it comes to stuff like this? Here's another picture. Why don't we, why don't we see this, this version of Kamala? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna have to um, just start calling her Miss Emhoff. You know, probably pronouncing this guy's name wrong. But anyway, you see what it is, man. So let's just get one more scripture. I'm gonna end out because this is crafty counsel. Because uh, they they understand that you so-called blacks, you don't research nothing. You don't know no better. 
You think that everybody with melanin is your people. You think that you're a damn Egyptian. You think you're Ugandan. You think that you're some, uh, a Zim from Zimbabwe. You think that you're, you're, you're everybody in that goddamn continent. You from, you're a damn Moroccan. You know, you're, 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 you're a, a Senegalese. <laughs> you Jake, man, y'all, y'all every damn body and don't know no better. Everyone with melanin is not the same people and you have to understand that because Kamala, now like I said, she could be a so-called black woman, but I'm going off what she said or her father supposedly said. He, her father supposedly said that his mother was, was pretty much overall raped or raped or taken by a so-called, you know, a, you know, the slave master, so to speak. In that particular country over there. So if that's to be true, and a so-called white man actually, you know, um, took his woman and took, took his mother and you done things to her, and out comes him, then she's a so-called white woman. It just is what it is, man, because the seed line goes through your dad. But um, let's get 2 Corinthians 2. And 11 because see this is the type of shit that they do because they know that you so-called blacks don't understand um, um, nationalities or ethnicities or how a pedigree they know you don't understand how a family tree moves and that's all because you know you go to his schools he, he, he he's teaching you what he wants you to learn he told you you was black and y'all believe that shit he told you you was a color out of a crayon box and y'all running around with your damn fist in the air really believing that shit 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So we're not ignorant of the fact that she knows that you don't know the difference between, um, uh, 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 you know, what a pedigree is. You don't know what a family line is. You don't know how a family line runs, a family lineage. They know that. That's why they was able to push Obama on you, which was a goddamn Hamite. He's not even a, a so-called Negro himself. But they understand that, okay, he got that look, though. He can pass for you know what I'm saying? And that's crafty counsel, man. That's that, that wheat and the tares parable. And that shit is scary. But see, you're all about to see. Y'all gonna run out here and y'all gonna vote for this, this, this clown in droves. You already see what Obama done. Obama presidency was horrible. He didn't do anything for you Negroes. Then you go and vote for Joe Biden and do nothing for you Negroes. Now she's about to run off, off, off of his shit and, and she's not gonna do nothing for you Negroes. She already done said it. She said that she wasn't going to do anything specifically for you so-called black people. That's, that's, that's out of her own mouth. The video is out there. It's not no AI video, neither. <laughs> she straight said, I'm not doing nothing for you Negroes. I'm going to do every... If I'm going to do anything, it's going to be for Americans. See? She doesn't care about your plight. But what she's doing is, just like she did the first time, what, what did Joe Biden say? If you don't vote for me, you're not black. What did, what did he tell Charlemagne to God? And y'all ran with that shit. Oh, the first black, the first black vice president. Y'all ran with that shit. I seen one chick. One chick. She was like, the guy was asking her, and she was just like, oh, just because she's a woman, I think it would be great. You know, it didn't know nothing about her policies. She didn't give a shit about the policies. She didn't care about, you know what I'm saying, um, her helping the economy. She didn't care about the things that's going on in the world. She just wanted her to be, uh, 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 you know, voted in because she's a woman. And that's a dumb way to be thinking. But these are your Americans, man. So I'm going to end out there. I pray that the lesson was edifying with that. Hey, just imagine her popping up with that family. And y'all seeing that family. Uh, keep that family in your mind and, and, and imagine her. You know what I'm saying? Like when y'all go out to vote. Because she's so black. She's running off this black. I'm a black woman. She's going on, you know, the, your, your little sororities and shit. She's hitting all the, your, your, you know, her little Chuck Taylors on. Talking about how she smoked weed. She loves Tupac. And she's showing up at um, these, these, these black colleges. But she's got a goddamn white family. Come on, bro. Get out of here, man. Y'all better, better wake the hell up, man. Stop being so goddamn ignorant, man. With that, I pray that the lesson... It was edifying Kwame Yashala in the Bible ball. Matter of fact, you know what? Um, let me get this one. This one coming up in the spirit here. Uh, Isaiah chapter 1 in verse 3. Let me start at verse 2. Isaiah 1 and 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. 
I have nourished and brought up children and they have rebelled against me. This is talking about you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. The ox knoweth its owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel do have not know, my people do have not consider. Our people don't even know who they are and they don't even consider who they are. Oh, she got melanin though. We're the same people. Here you go, the motherfuckers and gave you the whole continent of Africa for your nationality. 54 countries in Africa. Ask the average Jake how many um, countries is in Africa. They'll be like, what do you mean? It's just one country. They don't even know it's a continent. They don't even consider who they really are. I'm talking about literally Jake. Jake will run around. I'm telling you, they're proud as fuck to be a color out of a crayon box. What the hell is black, man? And no one is actually black. We're just different shades of brown colors. You got some darker browns, but no one is actually black, man. Come on, bro. Nobody looks like a damn car tire all armored up and shit. You know, some armor all on it. And no one is actually white. There's no such thing as white people. No one looks like a glass of milk. Those people are red. They're pinkish to reddish in color. Those are the colors that you have as far as nationalities on the planet. Pinkish to reddish in color. And you have um, um, lighter shades of brown to darker shades of brown. And that's it, man. And our people don't consider that. Because again, like I said, what, what, what did um, Esau do to you? He was calling you what? I think what he was calling us, um, what, nigger? Then Negroes. I think from that it went to colored. Then from that it went to, um, I think Afro-American motherfucker was calling you a damn hairstyle. Then it went to, you know, something black. And now they're calling you African-American. And, and matter of fact, I'm older than, um, than the term African-American. Think about that. How can I be older than my nationality? Think about that for a hot sec. I am actually older than the term African-American. Because Jesse Jackson came out with that shit in um, 1989. There's a lot of people running around here talking about they're African-American and they're actually older than that. If you was born in 1988... You would be a year older than your nationality. <laughs> but Jake don't consider. Jake don't think about stuff like that, man. Jake just, just sottish as hell, stupid as hell, wise to do evil, you know. Uh, they, they, you know and, and Jake just don't know no better. Really, in reality, it's just our people are, are, are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Scriptures talks about that, us being destroyed for lack of knowledge. But anyway, I'm going to end out there. I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yasha'Allah and the Bible Ball.